सो गाइज वेलकम टू अनादर वीडियो इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट डेटा टाइप्स इन डार्ट प्रोग्रामिंग सो गाइज वी हैव मैनी डेटा टाइप्स इन डार्ट प्रोग्रामिंग इंक्लूडिंग नंबर्स विच इंक्लूड्स इन टीजर्स विच आर नथिंग बट दी नेचुरल नंबर्स एंड देन वी हैव डबल विच इंक्लूड्स फ्लोटिंग नंबर्स दैट मीन्स वी हैव डेसिमल पॉइंट्स इन दीज नंबर्स दी अदर डेटा टाइप इज स्ट्रिंग विच इज़ अ नॉर्मल स्ट्रिंग दैट वी ऑलरेडी सॉ इन दी प्रीवियस वीडियो द अनादर डेटा टाइप इज बुल विच कंटेन्स वैल्यू सच एज ट्रू और फॉल्स सो दी these will have only these two values that is true or false then we have some collections such as list which will store some array of elements it can include integers or numbers or strings as well and then we have set which is the unordered list elements and then we have something called as map which has key value pairs so guys we are going to learn about these collections in separate videos as well since we have many things that we can do with these particular collections but for to today's video we will see what are these numbers strings and boolean and how we can use this so for example in the previous video we have seen how to print these strings so let us now define an integer so the number that we can see over here we can have the data type as integer which is int so we can type the keyword as int which will define that we are defining a integer data type and then followed by a variable name so let's say if we provide a number so number this is nothing but the name of the variable which we will learn in the upcoming video as well so this will store the value of the integer and after this we can assign an integer to this variable so we use the equal to operator and then followed by a value so let's say 10 and then followed by a semicolon and let's say we want to print this number on screen so we use the print function and then followed by open brackets and then we type the name of the variable that is number followed by semicolon guys remember that over here since we are using a variable there is no need to provide double quotes since we are using the variable name over here and we just want to provide the value that is to be printed on the screen we save this file and then we want to run this files so dart and then followed by the program name so as you can see the value is 10 now let's say instead of just printing this number we want to print a string statement and then followed by this value so we can provide some string statement over here the value of number is now as we saw without these double quotes we can just provide the variable name in order to print this value that is 10 now what if we want to include this number inside this string as well so let's say we want to print the value of number is and then how do we provide the value of this variable so we have a notation called dollar and then we provide the variable name as number so guys what will happen over here is this will tell the code that this dollar followed by a number is nothing but this is the variable name for which we want to provide the value so the output should be the value of number is and then the value of the variable which is equal to 10 so we save this file and let's try running this so as you can see the value of number is 10 and in this way you can print the string value followed by the integer value as well in the similar way we can use the double data type as well so as you can see over here we have the integer data type and the value is integer but let's say if we have something called as 10.6 so this is not an integer but it's a floating value or a decimal value so if we try running the same program with the integer data type so it should throw an error so let's save and try running this so as you can see error a value of type double can't be assigned to a variable of type int so it is 10.6 and we have provided it as the integer data type so what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to provide the double keyword over here that is the double data type save this file and try running this file once again so as you can see the value of number is 10.6 so now there are no errors so it was a data type issue so we have to make sure that whatever value is coming we are matching it with the specific data type that we are specifying now guys there is one important feature of dart that it is not strictly data typed 
which means it is dynamically typed programming language so what if we don't know that whether the value that is coming is an integer or a double so what we can do is we can use the where keyword so where keyword is nothing but it allows us to define variables of any data type so let's say if we save this file and run it with this particular value that is 10.6 which is a double value and try running this the value of number is 10.6 so this is printed automatically now what if we want to provide an integer value so let's say we go back to the value as 10 we save this file and try running it once again so as you can see the value of number is 10 which means that the integer value is automatically taken and the decimal value was also automatically taken by this keyword and it was stored in this variable so in this way either you can use the int keyword or the double keyword as well or else if you don't know what the value will be you can simply use the where keyword and define your variables now let us move to another data type that is string so string is nothing but as we have seen in the previous video that it is the collection of characters so let us say we want to print something as a string so we provide the string value as the name of this youtube channel so it is programming for beginners and then followed by semicolon we will change this variable as string and then we will change the statement to youtube channel name is followed by the variable name so we copy this instead of number we provide it as dollar string so as you can see it takes programming for beginners in the string variable we can either provide this string as the strict data type save this file and then we run this file over here so youtube channel name is programming for beginners and then again if we are not sure what data type it will be we can also use where keyword over here so using this where keyword again this string will be stored in this string variable name and then the statement will be printed so we come over here we run this code again so youtube channel name is programming for beginners and in this way we can also store the strings in different variables as well now let us move to another data type that is bool which will have the values as true or false so let's say we have the variable name over here as option so it can be either true or false so let's see if i assign it a value as true now print the value of this option the option value is and then the variable name so dollar followed by option and then save this file so let us try running this so as you can see the option value is true so in this way this is nothing but this is of bull data type but it can also be assigned using the where keyword as well so guys about the other data types that is list set and map we will see them in the other separate videos as they need some little bit of explanation so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you can get the notifications for the upcoming videos in the next video we will see variables in dart programming so stay tuned